check in with Terry Savage, uh, get her response to all that. How's it looking, Terry? Well, the market is waiting for Fed Chairman Powell. It's probably going to be a 50 basis point increase in interest rates, which will push other rates up a little bit and hopefully, from the Fed's point of view, slow the economy. I think the thing we will get unemployment report on Friday. Today's job report is a preview. I think there's one message out there for all of us. Yes, there are still 10 million jobs going begging in the economy. But an economic slowdown, when it hits, could hit your job. It's not just happening to the big tech firms now. It's spreading throughout the economy. We'll see more of that. If you have a job, uh, you want to treasure it. And if you don't have a job now, this is definitely the time to be looking before those open positions disappear in a slowdown. All right, let's get to some viewer questions. Uh, here's the first one. Okay. Regarding 529 college plans, I live in Illinois. My granddaughter lives in Indiana. Is this an issue? No, it's not an issue because the money in a 529 plan can be used for any college in any state. So especially if you live in Illinois, number one, we have a, a very good plan. Years ago, it was a mess, but it has been a, one of the higher ranked plans for the last uh, eight or nine years. It's called Bright Start, and you can open an account for your child or grandchild at brightstart.com. You just go directly and do it. And because you're an Illinois resident, you get a deduction on your state income taxes of up to $10,000 in contributions. So this is something you can do now, keep contributing over the years ahead, and it's a great holiday gift, a right. 529 savings plan. All right, next question. My wife and I have fifty dollars to $60,000 we'd like to invest for three to five years. What advice would you give <laughs> us to do with that money? <clears throat> That is so not fair. That's not a fair question, producers. You can't do that to me. Because look, I don't know anything about you. My first question would be to ask you, how much of that are you willing to lose? Aha, uh -huh, I heard you say nothing. Wait, we don't want to lose it. We just want to invest it. Well, look, um, I would have suggested if you don't have a retirement fund to open an IRA, assuming you're still working, and put it in an IRA account at Fidelity or Vanguard in the Standard & Poor 500 stock index. Over the longer run, 20 years, you'll come out ahead. I'm very sure of that. But a few years, maybe not so much. So you want to maybe stick to treasuries yielding uh, at the 10-year level now. Uh, you could get about three and three-quarter percent. I can't give, no one should be giving you blanket advice out of nowhere without knowing your risk tolerance, your age, your whole financial picture. Sorry. All right, here's the next question. My son, who is in college, would like to invest um, $1,000. What is the most pragmatic investment he should make? Okay, well, this is different because he's in college, he's young. I can give you that simple advice, go invest in an S&P 500 stock index fund over the long run, you'll be so happy. But a college kid, he probably has some ideas about what he'd like to invest in. Maybe it's the music he plays, maybe it's the shoes he wears or the restaurants he goes to. He knows some companies that he's interested in. Maybe it's a tech company or a gaming company. So let him buy a few shares of that stock. Assuming he's already an adult, 18 in most states, he can open an account in his own name, but the place to do it is at stock stockpile.com where it's you have a sort of a subscription and you pay $4.95 for your subscription and then no commissions so stockpile.com is a place where you can buy small amounts of shares maybe he has two or three companies he wants to put three or four hundred dollars in a couple of companies that would be a place for a college student to start an interest in stock investing all right how about this question is now a better time to buy a used or a new car so that's a very interesting question because we had a lot of headlines over the last six months about the used car market is soaring. Uh, people, can, There aren't new cars and people can't get used cars and they don't want to ride public transport in the COVID era. So for a while, used car market uh, prices were very, very high. That has cooled off dramatically, whereas the supply of new cars hasn't quite yet kept up. So I would suggest that you would go to the used car market and I would suggest you check the financing very carefully. That's where the dealers make a lot of money on used cars. See if you have a credit union loan, that would be a less expensive way to finance it. And frankly, given my outlook about a slowing economy in the new year, if you could wait and buy it in the dead of winter, that is always the best season to buy a car, new or used. Oh, all right. Well, if you have a question for Terry, you can go to terrysavage.com, post it there. Thanks, Terry. Thanks, Terry. Thank you. Time now for on